Hello everybody. Hi, this is Kat, aka Stitching Out Loud on uh, Ravelry Instagram and here on YouTube. So I just, oh gosh, I had a, today's what, Monday the 15th of May, the day after Mother's Day. Um, and uh, it's just been, ugh, it was a horrible day today. Well, Mondays for me, I, in general, I hate Mondays, but uh, it wasn't a really rough day at work, but I had to stay late and to take care of some things, and it was just, uh, and then I go out to, to get in my car, and my tire is like super low, so I have to figure out a way to air it up, and thank goodness one of the guys at work had a little uh, compressor that I can use, to, you know, portable compressor. I'll tell you what, guys, if that's one one thing that anybody needs is to carry one of those little portable compressors in their car that you just plug into your into your lighter your lighter outlet and it's fantastic um i i used to have one i actually had two in the past uh they both crapped out on me one of them just kind of like the little lighter thing just uh fell apart on me um the other one just stopped working so um so i need to get another one uh, for times like this, uh, it was just, oh, it was, and then the drive home, there was tons of traffic and it was just terrible outside. Anyway, uh, I was happy though. I came home and there's a box on my, on my doorstep. And so another unboxing, I already took the, I already opened it and took the, the label off. Um, so no revealing stuff there, but, um, I haven't opened the package yet. Actually, well, I tried to unwrap it one handed. I, <laughs> I tried to record without a uh, without a stand, and yeah, that doesn't work so well. So, um, so I shut it down in the middle of unwrapping one of them. So I haven't even seen it. So y'all will still see what I see. Um, so here we go. This is a package from another vendor over on a Facebook, the uh, Succulent Marketplace USA. Um, I've been getting a lot I've, I've, everything that I've gotten from the people on there have been decent I'm pretty much happy with them so we'll see this one I think let me see yep this is going to be my Zoebergs look aren't those so cute Aren't those so adorable? Um, these, they remind me of crab claws. And it reminds me of Zoiberg. Isn't that so cute? Oh, guys, they're so, so adorable. So I'm, I'm guessing that they're going to turn really red like this uh, once they get potted and they've been in the dirt for a while and out in the sun soaking up the rays. And I actually ordered two. She posted two. Ooh, those got some needles on them. Um, I knew they had like little pokey things, but I didn't think they were actual needles. I thought it was just little, um, I don't know, little sticking out things, whatever you want to call them. Um, she posted on, uh, when she posted this, she posted two for the listing and as soon as I saw them I, I just had to have them so here we go here's the other one and I'm sorry if my dog barking is getting on y'all's guys nerves I don't know what's going on over there uh, anyways Oh, look at that one. Oh, look, and it's got a little baby leaf growing in there. Can you see that? Little tiny baby leaf in there. Oh, I can't do that right there. Isn't that so cute? That is so adorable. I love these things. I'm not sure if they... I'll have to get online and look and see what the actual name of these are. Of course, when she posted it, she she put the name on there. I just saw them, and I knew I wanted um, 
I believe this is an aloe. I wanted one that had this red coloring to it. So I grabbed up both of them as soon as I saw that. Um, and I'm so glad they came today. I was so looking forward to them too. Look at that. My Zoibergs. Yeah, yeah. I love them. They're so cute. So I can't wait to get those in the dirt. And also, um, here in Houston, over the weekend, uh, it was actually Saturday and Sunday, the uh, 13th and 14th, they had the uh, Houston Cactus and Succulent Society. They had a, um, hold on, hold on a minute. I gotta yell at my dog. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Um, the Houston, Houston Cactus, Cact the Houston Cactus and Succulent Society had their annual spring sale. So the members, basically members who have an overabundance of cacti and succulents will get their stuff together and uh, sell their stuff at a community center or where, you know, wherever they can find a, a, a venue to put up their sale. And now there's not, a, there was not a lot of soft succulents like echeverias and sedums um, or crassulas, crassulas, I'm not sure how you say that, but um, as I was walking through, I actually volunteered to, uh, to just help out, whether it was helping somebody set up a table or move stuff or whatever. Um, but most of the time I was just sitting there and I actually walked up and down and looked at everybody's, you know, looked at all their plants that they had. And let me show you what I ended up coming home with. A very nice guy that had this. Now, <clears throat> I believe this is an aloe. An aloe um, quadricolor because it has actually has four colors on the leaves so it has this yellow and there's a very light you could probably see it better on here so there's yellow and this very almost like bluish looking stripe here and then there's a dark green and a, and a light green in the middle of course this this one is not um, that one's kind of broke but anyways I have been eyeballing this now for whatever reason I don't know why because I've tried looking it up online and I did not see anywhere he told me it was called a cloud aloe I had never heard of that agave I'm sorry cloud agave I had never heard of that so I tried looking it up and the only thing that it actually came up with was um, some kind of app um, for agave uh, some kind of agave app that's the name of it but I, I don't know where he got cloud agave from but I have known this to be called um, agave quadricolor so and I have seen these and I don't know when you look at them online you it's really hard to tell how big they are um, this looks like a six inch pot I believe um, but I have seen them sell up to $45. Um, and now I'm not saying that the guy that I bought it from was just didn't know what he had. Or he just, maybe he just had an overabundance of these things. But um, I got it for 8 bucks. So, yeah, I'm going to, it looks a little rough around the edges. But I'm still very happy with it. Um, see, there's a couple of leaves right there that I could probably pull off and... Uh, pull off and just get get rid of those maybe or cut this this little part off that's kind of hanging just to make it look a little bit nicer a little bit cleaner um you can see there's some stuff under here that i could take out so i bought that for eight bucks now considering if you can't find it for less than 20 at that size then you know i don't know i think i got a good deal and he was a really nice guy. He was really sweet. Um, lots of, you know, it's it's amazing. 
that it's amazing the amount of information that you could get from somebody just by sitting and talking to them for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So he, uh, he also, oh no, this was, this was a different guy. This is actually, well, he didn't, he didn't uh, put it, that was five bucks. Um, he told me, <laughs> this is also, I think this one is an agave as well. Agave or aloe? I don't know. I have to look it up again. But it's also known as mother-in-law's tongue. So if you're familiar with that, this it will actually. I loved the way that just the leaves just curl and just come up out of there. But when they start growing, they grow straight and really, really long, really tall. And these are the types of plants that you would see in office buildings and stuff. But for five bucks, not bad. I love it. I love it. And then I also came home with this. <clears throat> this one is a Adenium obesum. Adenium obesum. Also known as, commonly known as, a desert rose. So here's the branches coming off of it there. They had a bunch of these. Um, I just, I had to get one. Um, they actually had one that was um, a lot bigger than this. And it had several branches. And it, all of the branches had blooms on them. See if you can see that better. Now this one's not ready to bloom, but I can't wait to see it bloom. I just can't wait. A uh, desert rose. I don't know. That's always like a. I don't know. That's it's just very exotic. I think. But <clears throat> anyways, um, the cool thing about this is, which I did not know, this here, the base of this. Um. Once, once it actually starts to outgrow this pot and get too big for it, when you repot it, what you do is you pull it up and then actually just bury just the, the bottom of the roots in the soil. So when you pull it up, if you go online and look at some pictures, you'll see how this base actually turns into like gnarls and nubs and twisted looking roots and and whatnot down here below um that's just the way it grows you don't want they say that once you uh repot it pull it up and you just bury the bottom of the roots and that's how it continues to grow um so it grows outwards as well as 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 in height um but yeah that's that's what they told me so I can't wait to start seeing that happen. And but of course it doesn't happen overnight. Um, something like this could probably. They did have a, a a tree there that was worth a couple of hundred bucks, that the guy was growing for like 20 years. So and and it did have the gnarled roots and the bumps and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, you'll. Uh, if you're interested in getting those, be prepared to have them for a lifetime. Um, and there's also uh, several different colors that these will bloom in. Um, so until it blooms, I, I probably won't know exactly what color. So it's just beautiful. I, I mean, it's just, and it was like 10 bucks. This, this one was only 10 bucks. I was really, really surprised. I'm like, wow. I, I did see a couple of these at um, uh, Cornelius, I believe, that were going for like 20 so twice as much for about the same thing. So, yeah, I love it. Um, oh, and I'll have to show you guys this. I planted my Pulilin Sayanas in my little, look at that, they look so happy in there. My little, well, strawberry containers. Uh, ceramic styles. <laughs> strawberry containers. Don't they look so cute? So pretty. I love these things. 
and I'm hoping that they're gonna that they're gonna get really big and I can't wait to, if they're gonna bloom I hope they bloom really beautifully I just can't wait um I thought there was something else I was gonna show you guys oh this <clears throat> This one is just a cutting that that one of the guys there, at, actually the guy that I got this from, the guy that I got my quadricolor from, um, I was talking to him and there was a lady that came by and she saw a plant sitting on his table and she was like, oh, what is this? This is so cool. And he was telling her that it was actually um, a plumeria and that and it was the only one he had on his table well i take that back he did have one other one that was sitting in the back but it was huge it was gigantic um but anyways uh so he was like oh it's a plumeria these are the the, the trees that they grow in hawaii and when it blooms they pull the flowers off and that's what they use to make the lays um in hawaii and i was like oh my gosh that is so awesome so she was standing there talking talking to him for a while and i was just Hoping and hoping that she would not buy it because I wanted it. But she ended up buying it. I wasn't heartbroken or anything. Uh, but I, I talked to him later on. And I was asking him about the plumeria. And I said, you happen to have, you know, are you coming back tomorrow? And would you have another one that I could buy from you? And he said, oh. He goes, don't worry about it. He goes, I will bring you a cutting. And I'll just give it to you. He was like, cuttings are nothing. And I was like, no, no, no. I said, I told him, I said, I will pay you for it. Five, ten bucks, whatever you want. I'll pay you for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I had intentions on paying for it, really, when I went back, I, you know, back the next day. But he kept on telling me no. And I tried to keep on trying to give him money, but he said no. And I said, thank you very much. Of course, wanted to hug him and give him a kiss because it's so look at it it's just so i don't know i it's so cute and it's just so so cute now in this one of course i cannot wait to see it bloom either i'm going to look up what kind of information i need to um how to take care of it this has been sitting here on my patio since uh yesterday soaking in some sun he watered it for me and everything so i just can't wait to see it bloom uh, plumeria aka the hawaiian lay tree hawaiian lay flower tree whatever you want to call it <laughs> so anyways um i think that's about it that i have for you guys today um oh and i'm sorry for <clears throat> first of all i'm sorry for all the barking uh second of all I'm sorry that I keep saying uh and um and whatever else. I promise to try not to say it so much. But it's one of those things, you know. It's just one of those things that, you know, people can't help saying. Just like when teenagers are always saying like. You know, like, so, like, you know, so, like. Or, no, I'm saying, no, I mean. That type of thing. Um, so I'm going to try not to say it so much. Sorry, guys. So anyways, look at that. I can't wait to get my Zoybergs in the dirt. Totally going to call them Zoybergs. I, I need a... I wish I had, like, one of those long... A long oblong or rectangular planter to put these in. So I could put one at each end and find, like, a ceramic head of Zoyberg and put him right, put his head right in the middle. Aren't those so cute? I love them. Uh, so anyways, uh, I think that's about it for today. Um, I will have another unboxing probably in the next couple of days. I ordered something from... another website that I found. I was looking for a specific succulent and I found it. I found that somebody was selling it and I bought them. They only had two in stock so I bought both of them and I will do the unboxing when they get here. 
I also have another succulent coming from another seller on Succulent Marketplace USA. She's, she told me she's shipping it today, so it should be here on a, uh, probably Wednesday, hopefully. Um, so anyways, oh, there's my tomatoes. Friggin' birds. I, the other day I was out here and I said, oh look, I have a couple of tomatoes and one of them's orange. It's almost ready. And I come back out later on and the darn little orange tomato was gone. Snatched away by a bird. So I'm going to keep an eye. I actually pulled off before I came out here. I don't know if you can see this. Um, oh, look at that. There's a little tiny, little tiny thing coming in. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy that a friend of mine gave me this. I don't eat a lot of tomatoes, but um, I don't know. It's just a gift from her, and this will always remind me of her. She was a very sweet lady, and... She moved away last year, and it was so sad because she didn't even tell anybody. But anyways, that's that's my remembrance of her. Gabby, if you're watching this, this will always remind me of you. As long as it lives, hopefully. <laughs> anyways. Um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Um, I will do another unboxing when I get my other stuff. And... I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, um, the, the rest of the month, or whatever. So, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.